Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a call if you guys are looking to improve your credit score, lower your car payment, buy a car, trade in a car. Uh, if you're looking to purchase your first home, if you're looking to purchase a rental property, we can help you. Give us a call today, 877-205-7771. Talk to you guys soon and thanks again. Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people have been praying, hoping, wishing, and may even beat somebody up for, right? And that is, will student loans be able to be discharged in bankruptcy? I have good news and I have bad news for you, okay? Um, the good news is, is that at least Congress has the idea on the table um, thanks to I forgot the congresswoman's name uh, but thanks to her right and now granted I don't think that her plan honestly is going to make it to um, existence the reason being is because there's a lot of factors that kind of go into it and we're talking about the present and we're talking about the future okay and the problem is is that you have a bunch of good, good well let's go into the good news the good news, of course, is that the, the, the idea is on the table, right? But the problem is, is that in the future, it's going to lead to other issues like people being denied for student loans in the first place. You know, so let's be honest. A lot of people have, you know, student loans, right? So let's go into what's actually on the table so you guys can get where I'm coming from. So number one, the first topic that's on the table is if we cannot discharge, um, you know, government student loans, can we at least discharge private student loans? Which, by the way, if you guys have been kind of following this, um, private student loans were added to, uh, were pretty much um, against bankruptcy laws in 2005. Prior to 2005, you could discharge certain private student loans. After 2005, they cut it off completely and they just said all student loans. Now they're backtracking. Simply because, again, in 2005, it wasn't as many, nearly, as what there, as many as there are private student loans now. Back before, you know, 2005 and prior, you know, a person, uh, they're either their parents or themselves, they met certain income qualifications, essentially, to pretty much, you know, say, hey, we can afford these student loans, and they were able to afford them, and it wasn't that big of a deal. But then you also have to look at how many people actually had those types of loans back in 2005 and prior to that. Since 2005, a lot of smaller companies are now not backed by the government, but even small banks. You know, well, I don't say small banks. You got Chase, a lot, you know, your local banks. If you took out student loans from your local bank, those are private student loans. And with those private student loans, even though they're at major banks and major corporations, they wasn't they weren't they weren't in the student loan game you no know, long time ago. Not all of these banks were. SunTrust has been out for a long time. Chase Bank, things of that sort, right? But a lot of them were not doing as many private student loans, um, you know, back in the day as they are now. So because of that, they have a good amount of student loans that are private, you no, know, no, that a lot of you no know, people have, right? So now what Congress is trying to push: Can we at least discharge? private student loans so that is on the table which by the way student loans haven't been as an issue that hasn't been on the table i would have to say in the last well i don't think the last three or four elections to be honest with you because we're going back into like the 2000s and the 90s no one was really really talking about student loans this really just became a big deal now and even though of all these people are running for presidency that's going to be a major topic. Even if that's not their main focus, you're going to have to address it. Because if you want the new millennial vote, if you want people, you know, pretty much anybody, really, because now they're talking about people that are using their Social Security checks just to, you know, make ends meet. And a, a portion of that check is now going to their student loan payments. So if you want people's vote, you're going to have to talk about it regardless of who you are. Right. And so these are not just things that you know that, um, of course, people that are running for president are talking about. These are actually things that people uh, that people that sit on the bankruptcy board advisory. What they're doing is they're actually pushing for this right now as we speak. OK, but the thing about it is, is that they've been pushing for it for a long time. And now that Congress people are now talking about it, it makes the it makes the conversation a bit more popular. 
Let's go back into the bankruptcy code. The bankruptcy code hasn't been updated. Essentially, what qualifies for what qualifies a person for bankruptcy, right? That code hasn't been updated since 2005. We're not even talking about private student loans. We're talking about just bankruptcy code overall. Looking at a person's financial picture and saying, okay, does this person have undue hardship? Now, undue hardship essentially means that this person cannot live, right? because of all the amount of debt that they've created for themselves. But let's be honest, a lot of people are not necessarily paying their student loans, so you really can't incorporate that in an undue hardship. You would have to be on deferment, take the deferment off, get yourself on a payment plan, and then say, hey, I can't afford it, <laughs> right? But again, let's be honest, and this is where it goes kind of into the, the future. So let's go into what would happen, right? If they say private student loans, you can now have them in bankruptcy, right? You already know what's going to happen. People that have private student loans are going to naturally file bankruptcy, right? And they just say, okay, it is what it is. They're going to have their list of goals. They're going to try to accomplish those goals, card normally home, whatever, if they're trying to do that. And then sure enough, file bankruptcy, right? But then you have, that's a very small portion of people that have private student loans compared to the, just to the traditional government student loans, right? Now, let's talk about what you really want to talk about. What happens if everyone finds, I mean, what happens if they say that student loans, government student loans, can now be discharged in bankruptcy? You better believe that people won't take any time to go ahead and file bankruptcy. If they got to quit their job just to show this undue hardship, right? Then of course, to qualify for bankruptcy, you better believe they're going to do it, right? So that's, you guys got to look at, that's the reason why it's probably not going to happen. Now, will there be some, is it possible to have some type of stipend or some type of, you know, I don't know, what do you call it? Some type of bailout or something like that? That's very possible, but no matter what that ends up being, that's going to be the gift, right? That's going to be the gift to us in the present. But here's the problem. If you're really big on your kids going to college, if you're a college graduate yourself, going for your doctors, whatever, you, whatever that is, and you're big on sending your kids to college, do your thing. But if we get this right now, they're more than likely going to make it more difficult to, I mean, to me, that would make sense because again, you know, if you want us to do X, Y, Z, why would we give you, you know, all these student loans when we know they're going to be just prepared to go ahead and discharge them in bankruptcy. And a lot of financial experts are saying people won't just purposely file bankruptcy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are thinking the same thing. Like, man, please let, let me know when that happens. Okay. So but either way, something to keep your eye on, but it's looking like we may get a step in the right direction um, in, and at least get private student loans back into the dischargeable uh, bankruptcy standards. So, but again, they're talking about at minimum updating the code. You have the bankruptcy advisory board. I mean, a lot of things are starting to at least be on the table as topics where decisions are going to have to be made, you know? So, but again, even if that happens for us, it may be more difficult for your, you know, your kids to get approved or to get qualified for a certain amount of student loans. You know, so they may say, well, since you're saving all this money from your student loans not being paid, you now qualify, you know, your, your, child, your child only qualifies for half of what the school charges. And now that's putting you in a financial burden. So you may not be able, you may not necessarily have to pay your student loans, but you may have to pay your child's student loans if you decide to you know, go that route. So again, I think that it's almost like they say, don't want what you don't want, but don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people have student loans. I'm seeing a hundred thousand, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars. I saw the record breaker and it's over four hundred and something thousand dollars. So, and I, I, I get it, you know, so, but at the same time, if that happens, you better believe there's a price to pay on the back end. So we just got to decide what we want. And of course, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm, I'm sure the news that like that is such a big topic that once that breaks, but that's going to determine some of you guys voting. You no, know, uh, I would I would say voting decisions, I'm assuming. Right. Because at this point, we're not even I don't know if you guys are about the big names that are running a lot of 
great people to run in you know, this, this coming no election. But at the same time, you got to look out for you know, what's going to work best for you and not just your financial situation, but your goals, your American dream, what you're looking to accomplish, no matter your age or race or whether you got student loans or not, you have to make that decision for yourself. Okay, so but either way, I'll keep you guys posted as I start to get this information. And by the way, if you guys are interested in any of these articles that have just come out, Wall Street Journal is talking about it, Market Watch is talking about it, uh, CNN, everyone's kind of you know, making a couple of articles within the last three to four weeks um, about this topic. So, and there's a very good chance that private student loans may be back into the dischargeable bankruptcy sector. So, but either way, if you guys like this video, like it, you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Thank you.